Hey there, and welcome back to Vermeer. Now, last time we found out that uh, Sovereign, uh, our enemy Saren, uh, the Turian, uh, rogue Turian Spectre, his ship is actually a Reaper, real actual Reaper, uh, that has uh, worked its way into our universe a little bit early uh, to preemptively uh, prep things uh, for his people's eventually, or his robot army's eventual invasion. But we're here to stop him. We just disabled some AA guns right here uh, to help out our friends, the Solarian Commando team, and save some people. And now we're going to go up and we're going to uh, we're going to blow up that breeding facility. Let's get freaky, huh? Let's get freaky. We could do this. We could do this, man. We will do this. We will be heroes. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Oh boy. Get the fudge out of here. Little sons of bitches. Who the hell? Okay, he's dead. I know there's gonna be more. Where are you, little bastards? Oh, this is gonna get nasty Charge set. quick. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Alright, this is the area. I remember this. Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. There's the Normandy. Help me out, buddy. Bring it on in. Yep, all that goes with the with the with the arming team. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we- It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. All right, I'm taking Garrison Rex again. My boys need to go with me on this last ride. Okay. So now I need to go back to the AA tower. Where is the AA tower? Uh, breeding trench, AA, okay, so it's down here. Just go down and stay down. My 
god. Okay. Get up, Garrus. Come on. Any more left? I'll heal you guys. Alright, we made it through that, okay. Come on, boys. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, boys! Okay, so we've got a container here I can pick up. Gonna take that while we have the chance. Now we're gonna go through here. Oh, boy. Damn. Yeah, they're sending in reinforcements. Heads up, LT. Yeah. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Okay, so now we have to make a decision. And I said in the first episode, sorry, Caden, I'm blowing you up, so we're going to get Ashley, because, uh, yeah. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. He's gonna die. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoop. Oh, weapons locker. As usual, I need to be a loot goblin. And this gives more loot for other people because now he'll be dead. Alright, we're going up. Going up, gentlemen. This is gonna be the best fight of your lives. I want you to come out of this door just like you did. Chugged a bottle of Viagra. Let's do this. But yeah. We need to move fast, Commander. We can't hold them off here much longer. Watch the corner. Watch the fire. Take it. I am going to shock your mom. But all right, we did it. Oh crap, monkey! Sarah, shove it up your butt. Oh crap, he came down to say hi. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. 
You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. We'll try this. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Okay, we're gonna just uh, beat the living crap out of him. Fuck him up, Rex. God damn it. Alright. Uh... Three, you son of a bitch. Garrus, get up! Oh god, please let me go. It's okay. Why are you so strong? Hey, hey. I would have broken your damn nose. 
fire! Stupid fuck. Alright, get over here, Normandy. We gotta get off this planet before the nuke goes off. Yeah! Sorry, Caden. I said at the beginning I was gonna blow you up. You're a badass. You can take it. Sorry, buddy. Alright, everybody, hang on! And there goes Caden. Bye bye. I. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. Aye, aye, Commander. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Poke my brain! Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! A lot of goopy stuff. More goopy stuff. Dead people. And goopy stuff. Goopy dead people. Hang on a second. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Sorry about that. Please tell me I wasn't muted this whole time. Oh boy, hang on. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, I was just having some technical difficulties in the background. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognize from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits are on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, 
I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. I hate all of you. And you're all incredibly stupid. Alright, so what are we looking at right now? Alright, we're only at 20 minutes, so... We're gonna go around and talk to some people on the ship. Because, uh, that's gonna be... We're gonna have to talk to everybody about Caden being dead. Presley, I don't really care about you. You'll find out in the second game why I don't care. Let's talk to Joker. Commander. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Alright. So, yeah, he's not too, uh... He's not too happy with what happened to Caden. I don't think anybody really is on the ship. Every, Caden's just one of those, like, naturally likable characters. Like, he's... I don't want to say he's bland, because he does have a, a pretty decent backstory that we got to hear throughout the game. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, you do have... There's no way to save them both, which does kind of suck. But at least it's only one squad member. It's not, like, you know, the end of the world. It, it does mean, however, that in the in the following games, you either have one character or the other, because you killed them off in this game. So in this case, we will have Ash uh, for the remaining games. Obviously, Caden would have been on this level, but he's not right now. Dr. Chalk has got to say. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, okay, Commander. I don't give a shit. Now I gotta talk to Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Hey, okay. Now we're gonna go downstairs. I'm sure Williams is gonna be a craptastic mess. Going in the basement. Talking up a storm. 
It actually did give most of all of these characters, I shouldn't say most, pretty much all, all of your companions. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys are down here. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Oh, grenade upgrade. I'm taking that. Okay, all of those suck. But I will take the grenade upgrade, thank you. Talk to Garrus. We'll talk to Ash. Uh, Commander, to last. I, what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shut now up. it's time to go to Ash. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you... Don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Williams. We'll remember him later. Yeah. A good guy like him must be with God now, huh? So, nothing to be sad about. He must be happier. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Alright, now we just gotta go talk to Tali. I think we'll go back upstairs and we'll take another uh, little look around, see? Talk to Tali. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, 
When my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission, and I need all the help I can get on this one. Don't worry. You can always count on me. I should go. See you later. Alright, we're gonna go back up to the cockpit. And uh, then we'll take a look at our journal. Actually, hang on a second, because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording here, actually. Because uh, I do need... Well, I'm going to go back downstairs, actually. We're going to ride the elevator again. Yay! It's like an escalator. Um, but I'm going to pause the recording when I get down here. I'm just going to do some gear updates and stuff like that. And then we will come right back. And we'll see what else we have to do. And uh, if we don't have anything else left, really, we will uh, start the final mission. Uh, so just give me a second here. All right, so uh, we did some uh, organizational stuff, and now we're going to go back to the star map, and we're going to activate uh, some of the final stuff. So we're, we're going we're gonna to start doing all the preliminary stuff before the last mission to Ilos. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. We're flying into the Citadel for probably the last time in this game. Spunky, chunky, monkey. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I'm gonna burn his ass hard.
Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. While they sit on their asses, Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Do hard love making with me right now. Also, this may have to be censored on uh, on certain platforms, just saying. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Let's get spunky. All right, so we'll take a few different people. So let's take Ash. She needs she needs to get out after after all the shenanigans. Okay. Equalizing I... interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, we're gonna pause here just for a quick second. All right, so sorry about that. So we're gonna go meet Captain Anderson in the wards. Figure out what he has to talk to us about. I did forget about this little kind of segment before Saren the final battle. Saren was one of the most respected Turians in the galaxy, Garrus. Are you gonna be okay going up against him? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Just keep saying that, especially to humans. We've got a lot of angry people right now. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. All right, so... I don't think we... I don't know if we have anything else to actually collect here. Let's go down to Flux and meet the captain. Oh, we gotta dance. Yeah! We gotta dance, baby! God, we're terrible at dancing. Ash, why didn't you back me up? Where the hell's Anderson? He'd be in here somewhere. Said to meet him at Flux, so he's gotta be he's gotta be in here somewhere. There he is. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. 
Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little check outside and see if there's anything else that I can uh, scr uh, scrounge up. Because uh, there might be one or two little small things. Your time. What? Oh, that's a different guy. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Okay, we my assistant wants to bend over. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. <coughs> okay, so I didn't even realize he was there, so that was another thing. So there probably are some other things on the on the station. So we could have actually agreed to that and gotten him the stimulant and just kept him on it. That would have been kind of amusing. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. Okay. It's Commander Shepard. It is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? What? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. Oh, God. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. All right, we're just gonna fuck this guy. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. 
Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Okay, I'm just gonna say this because I like fucking aliens. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like shan -Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of shan -Shi couldn't happen again? We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. shan -Shi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Oh, God. I do remember this being like a hot-button thing remember at one point. Day. And it is kind of stupid. No blood for aliens. Oh, God, those people are annoying. Okay, so... Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna run around a little bit. I just want... Okay, so the only other thing I want to check is I want to check the Presidium. I'll take one little jaunt around the Presidium, um, and then we'll uh, we'll try and get things on the road with Anderson. So let's check the Citadel Tower. If there's anything in there, then we'll go down to the Presidium proper. Right, let's see here. We got anybody? Doesn't really look like it. We'll do a quick little jaunt around and just double check. Like I said, there were a few random dudes that we did find downstairs, so. Okay, so it doesn't really look like we have anything up here. And I think we've actually probably scoured uh, just about enough here. So our all right, our we are we have plenty of time left. So I'm gonna take a little run around the Presidium because we got a little bit of time left in this recording, and then we're gonna go back to Anderson. Go to the embassies. Right, let's go to the embassies and see what we got. Is there anything here that we can grab? We'll see. Head up to the bar. See if there's anything up here. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there is. I think they add the part where you can get shit-faced in the second game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't give a crap about him. I've already talked to her. I don't need to talk to the bartender. Okay, so there's nothing here. Is there anything that I can see on the... No, that's just a Vena. All right, like I said, we'll take we'll take a small jaunt back this way. Let's see what we're doing. I wonder if he can talk to Udin in his office or not, or if his office is locked. It's probably. I think it's locked, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see. Okay, nothing there. Is he in his office? Okay, he's not even in here. And there's nothing we can really do in here. Just double check the Elcor diplomat area and then we'll take a run around. Okay, I don't see anything here that's different. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go back down to the front here. And then I'm gonna pause the recording real quick and I'm gonna go around and see if I can find anything. I'll save down here too. And that way I can reload if I do find something. Just give me a second. Okay. Pause quick. All right. So I think, I, I think I've gotten everything. Uh, I took a jaunt around the Presidium. I didn't find anything. And uh, we don't have any more side quests left. Yep, all our side quests are done. We just have to race against time. So we're going to go back to Anderson and the wards.
that. So we're gonna go back to Anderson and say we're ready to go. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right. Now I can go back to the. Uh, now I can go back to the Normandy and see Sec. Let's do this. All right, we're going to see Sec. Take the elevator up to the Normandy. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. The Normandy isn't built for a stand-up fight. I'd rather rely on the IES than the shields. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. I don't know, Garrus. I'd rather not be the first one up the ladder when it comes to new tactics. You're not necessarily wrong. Ash is very pragmatic. All right. Let's get back on the ship. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Stand me, baby. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Yeah. We're going to Ilos. Whee! Screw the rest, y'all. All righty then. All right, so we made it back out into space. Hang on. All right, so let's see what we got to do now. Do we have our journal? So we have to go to Ilos. That's that's the next step. Uh, so I don't think we're going to be... I don't think I need to go around and talk to anybody else anymore. Let's check the time. All right, the time's good enough. Uh, so what we're going to do is we will save here and end this recording here. And when we come back, we will be going on the final mission to Ilos. Bye-bye.